Bally Sally on the outskirts of Coleraine houses close on 3,000 people. Twice the national average are on the dole, making it a hard place to see out the biggest economic storm in a generation. This is the story of a year on the estate. Jimmy's just received news about a job he'd applied for. Right, caretaker's belly so you see I'm successful. Right. Thank you for your recent application for both and please to inform you that you've been shortlisted oh my for goodness. an interview. Oh my goodness. What the hell? I'm sure you hadn't even got, got it. I don't know. Or oh, wouldn't even get an interview. There's boys in my work were talking about it and this is another board they apply for it. I mean there's probably hundreds in for that. <laughs> there you go. I don't expect that there coming through the letterbox. Jimmy's desperate for a new job. He works nights at a local factory and Denise works during the day. So their time together is precious. I always used to take Lauren to bed and read her stories and all before you know got the night job and tucked her in, you know, and I suppose I haven't really done that now. Even Dylan, I don't I think I've never really tucked Dylan really into bed, you know, since because he was only a I was only a bit whenever I got that job, you know. A day job would ease the strain on family life. Ah. So what that, if I do get a day job, that'd be good one. Yeah! Means be able to reduce stories at night again. Yes! yes. That's yep, so good. Oh, <laughs> it's really good that you even got, you know, got that because, you know, got that. I got squashed. Did you get squashed, did you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, but that would, that would, that would be good if I did. Very perfect. I'd get it, wouldn't you? Know, so. Yeah. Hopefully, there is a job there, you know, it's not one of these where it would be, you know, the interview and the job's really, really gone. Jordan! <laughs> Jordan, don't jump! Looking after five kids is a full-time job for single mum Louise. Oh God. I'm ready to be there. She's unearthed an old school report from when her 15-year-old daughter Kelly Ann was a model student. P1, 100% attendance. My favourite book is S Club 7. <laughs> My favourite colour is purple. <laughs> What I am good at. My writing's quite good at it. My favourite thing is teeth. Oh fuck, was it any wonder I was a fat wee in? Food, Chinese. <laughs> Tatty. That's hairspray for you, but I'm just far hat wearing myself now. Me day. This year, Kellyanne has found it tough getting motivated for school. But she did manage to make it in for an English exam. It wasn't as hard as what I thought it was going to be. You had your brochure and you had to read that, so it wasn't too hard. Like, I knew what to do. It was easy enough. Next year, I'd rather just go into school and do what I have to do and get it over and done with, because at least then I know I'm finished. I really don't want to, but I'm going to have to. So my mum doesn't get in shit. Like, really, like, really much bother, like, because she was, like, she's as close to getting... Andy's so much baller, just because I won't go to school. Oh my. What, Ryan? Oh, look at your bloody soaking. Get down. Get there, stand there and get them off. Oh my. God. Huh? Um. I'll get you pants. Mm -hmm. Pants is over here. My ma's not old, but she's you know, not young, but I wouldn't want to be her age and sitting in the house with like on the door and like a crowd away and trying me. I don't want to be that type of woman. I just want to be like out with a job and doing something with my life. Maybe I've just got the brains sometimes. Hey. 
this is we you see this. My god, they're flying all over the place. Look, look, look. You see them they're staying together? I call the two and one end play. Because they're two gangsters. You let them out and they run all over the place. But they're starting to move now. Martin's life is a daily battle with drink. Two weeks sober and he's fallen off the wagon once again. I'm not a depressed kind of person. I just like laughing. Because I was sad for a lot of years of my life, you know. And that's the way I look at it, you know. I'd rather just be happy, go lucky. I take each day at 10, you know. I moved this stuff over here because, for a change, because I was just sitting staring out the window up at one tree and I was getting bored, you know, so I changed my direction. Look, there we go, there we go. Ah, oh, it's better sooner now, aren't it? I've got four trees to look at now. <laughs> Essentials just try and not get too much crap. Kyle's been unemployed for three years. With his dull check in, he's off to do the weekly shop. I hate budget money. I really do. It's crap, bad money. I spend it. Kyle's just moved out of his mum and dad's. Managing his money for the first time is a steep learning curve. No, I kept my bank card and she gave me it every time I was going shopping just. Cause she knows I would just go and lift money, buy a drink, or do something stupid. You kinda have to grow up when you get your own place and you have to sort of start managing your bills. You have to learn somehow. Mum Josie keeps him right. Nah, she's here, I like. I'll get a couple of these. Where's the getting done for squirting? Kyle has a baby daughter from a previous relationship. Even in tight times, he puts something into the trolley for her. You need baby wipes? No. We got half a packet. Hello, here. Have a last in my pocket. You can go through. You see if it got everything. Half an hour later, he's giving me the list. I try to remember everything there anyway off my head, but I need black bags. <laughs> They're at the very bottom of the eye. Yeah. Oh, bare essentials, just. Pizzas, ice lollies, razor blades. But there's still one aisle Kyle just can't resist. Say no. Say no. You may get that. Huh? You may get that. No, I'm not. You may. I'm not. What are you getting that for? Sixteen pounds. Yeah, you take it and get it. I'll not get it. Right, ID. What are you drinking now? I don't mean that. I'm between me and Ali. I should get another. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Well, it's down and fresh again. I was say, holy shit, it's down for 13 pounds, some, but it's not. The estate is badly in need of a place for young people to go. With funds for amenities scarce, some parents have taken matters into their own hands. Push you, them. Push. I don't even want to know why I'm looking, I can't even read. <laughs> I can't even read like. <laughs> Noel is one of the people transforming this disused council house into a drop-in centre. <laughs> I'm 
between the ages, I think, of 14 and, and probably, we'll even go to 20, like. Mm-hmm. Careful that we're share bonds, are No, there's nothing for them, like, so we're going to try and get somewhere for them. Yeah, there's nothing really to do in here. Yeah. 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 There's nothing really to do in here. Yeah. 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 This is the main hub. <laughs> <laughs> Not right, Elle. This is the main hub. I don't even know myself. Why I have a desk? Emma's alcohol support work is government funded. She just heard her job could go. In a month's time, she too could be on the dole. You kind of can't plan things at the minute, so you just have to take one day as it comes and see what people need to do and that kind of thing. But, oh well, it'll be over to the other side of the town in a wee while. (coughs) Emma now has to break the news to Martin. There might not be enough money to extend it, you see, so... Them people would be stupid if they let you go. They don't understand. Like, all these alcoholics, they don't trust you. You look after them, you know what I mean? And if they let you go, them alcoholics are going to get let down and they're going to fall apart. They'll all end up in hospitals and then all Emma's work won't mean none. Without Emma, there'll be no alcohol support worker on the estate. You know, it's, it's you not just me that's losing a job, they're losing support. See, all you need is a laptop, you can sell. You give me hope, you know, I feel lonely, I feel lost. You know, because I know Emma. Emma, I can talk to her about anything, you know. The government are wrong. Emma's doing a job to help alcoholics. So when I put a this recorder at full. Oh, thanks, Martin. <laughs> Noel has now been out of work for 10 years. His wife Mandy is happy the drop-in centre has given him a new lease of life. Way past the skirting board hanging off, I have to get nailed. But at home, some jobs still remain half done. See, his idea was he was going to do an ensuite, and then we decided no, we'll just use this as a cupboard. So, um, no starts the jobs and then doesn't get them finished. I just let him be. And the only gets more frustrated. You know, so. Aren't you happy like flitting away, no? Oh, I just sat in bed, huh? <laughs> That's a chimney. I've been waiting for the snake to come up with a bugger. <laughs> His talents is wasted, you know, he's a good joiner. Very right. good joiner. You look for a job, Monday? I have one. You need to look for a job. I want to do work. You do? Oh, I'm buying jobs. No jobs on the newsletter. The married is. Jimmy's hopes of a community centre job interview have been dealt a blow. Hello, uh, I got a letter there on Friday to say that I had been shortlisted for, for the carers taker job in Bally Sally. So that, and yesterday I got another letter to say that the criteria ha- of it had been changed. The goalposts have indeed been moved. He's now been told he needs GCSE maths and English to be eligible. Okay. That'll do. Okay, I'll do right, right, bye, right. She says she was sorry, she says, don't let it put you off, she says, never know another. 
an hour job like that might come up, but she says they had they says they had to go like that there because there was hundreds hand for it, that's why they went for it, but for the GSEs. Says I would have had I took something over to Quilvin that there, but which I I haven't got. It's just just a wee bit got it. You know, like getting on the short list and then turning around and then changing and telling you that you had to bring GSEs, you know, Maz and English way, you know, like so there's more to life and jobs all the rest so back the drawing board now so just keep just keep looking you know for just keep can keep looking see if any other jobs co comes up you know so Kyle's finding it hard to fill his day now that he's living on his own and on the dole now kind of work. My life consists of being in here during the week, Michelle. Not much to do. So that always leads to two or three days drinking. Ah, sometimes you worry about it, like sometimes you think you have no life. But half the shit that's happens three drinks, so it's maybe about the time I get off drink. Things settle down to somebody. Maybe another kid or something. Help them settle me down. Yeah, it was my daughter that sorted me a couple of years ago. I had a depression and stuff. I sorted myself out for her. I saw farm years ago and I had tattoos to cover them all so Chucky, the doll because I used to sell farm knife and stuff he thought it'd be funny to put a Chucky on it with a knife so I let him tear away and I was kind of like evil clowns and stuff too so stuck on me for life so you have to get used to it Since Kyle moved out, Rab's been worrying his son won't cope on his own. And that he might fall back into his old ways. Two and a half years fighting with him, working with him because of drugs. The way that fella's went from working from Monday to Saturday, and then they end up putting a rope around his neck. And the, the rope was burned actually an inch in the neck, where it was a nylon rope he had hung from the rafters in my garage. You know, it wasn't a very nice thing to see your own son hanging by the neck. He's tried to commit suicide nine times after that, cutting his arm, being out of his arms, nine slashes in his arms, and now I say the big, big one on his leg. One minute he'd be okay, and the next minute he'd just go in and lift the, the knife out of the, the door and he'd just cut himself. And when you see that door, it's, it's hard to take in, you know, just, I wouldn't like to go through it again. Up the minute, he seems to be coping all right, but it's always in the back of your mind, you're worrying about him, you don't know what, what he's going to do or what he's at at night. You don't know what tomorrow brings. Emma's fears have been confirmed. With no sign of new funding, she's just received a month's notice. Oh look, there's a rain. Oh, must be just a wee shower. Her clients rely on her as much as ever. I haven't even been out the door in a bit. Well, not really, it's just in Texas. Your mother should be in today, though, shouldn't it? Uh, it should be, I'm not sure. I keep on forgetting when it's coming or what. Can you check yeah. it down in the post office or do you have to go to the uh, bank? But I don't like going out the door until I'm ready. You just have to get back in the way of it. Mm -hmm. The past week and a half I've just been sitting. 
I don't know what the hell is wrong. Oh, this is desperate. I don't know what to do about it. There's nothing that can stop me. Even as I've just no cut good. down gradually, Martin. You know, even a glass left. Oh, I am. Oh, I'm doing smoking my brains out and drinking my coffee. It's approaching the end of the school year and Kellyanne is taking stock. Having missed most of last term, she's come to a decision. I've missed like most of this year, so they'll probably like, keep me back the year. Which I hope they don't, because fuck will go out my head, but Jesus Christ. Hope they don't. That's why I think next year I'm just gonna go and like get it over and done with. You know, instead of going through all the crap that I went through this year. You know, like with meetings and you know, all that there. So I think next year I'm just gonna start and go and try and you know, do good at my GCSEs. We'll try, like. I was saying to my that Whenever I leave school to go to tech and like do like catering or whatever, and then leave tech and then like go for a job and like save up money and then like buy my own restaurant or something. That's what I want to do, but I know it won't happen. But that's what I want to do. Just Emma. I'm just ringing out to check about this fund and just if you have any notion at all about whether it'll be continued. You can't say, yeah, I know, yeah. It's just I received my month's notice, you know, that kind of thing, so. Yeah, okay, thank you now. Bye, bye. <laughs> I still don't know, really, so. Just have to stay positive, I think. No use is good news. The drop in centre is coming together. Noel's joinery skills are a godsend. Everything's wrong. Oh, that's what I did for a living, eh? I don't do it now, really. Just do it for an odd one or do bits and pieces for you, know. I haven't the qualifications at half the building sites you need, you know. All the old uh, health and safety crap, like, I'm old school. You know what I mean? I served my time just when there were no, none of that old health and safety stuff, you know. I left school and I had no qualifications. None at all. You don't need to read or write to hang a door like. You just need to know how to hang it. Ah, it's harder now. You had to do your education now. Very well, I'm going to close you out a minute. <laughs> One down. Emma's coming to the end of her month's notice. You know, they're going to do work as hard as they can to find a way to bring me back. She's preparing Martin for the worst. Does everybody know that you're leaving? Yeah, most of it, yeah. What they I have say? to ring around and make sure everybody knows tomorrow for death. Now. What did they say? Well, no. They're just wondering what's going to happen now, kind of thing. Probably not very happy with it. No, not really. That's crazy. And I have that why, why? You so you can... I don't understand. I don't understand why they're doing that. I don't think it's a good idea. I think the government are wrong. So she's doing a job for alcoholics, and alcohol is the thing that's killing people. 
so I think that is wrong. What, what do you call it? Bonnie. Say hello to Bonnie. 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 Here. here. Look up. Bobby, Bonnie. come on. I give him a wee piece of chocolate every so often. Just, here, just a wee here. treat. You know? Here, son. Bobby, here. Bobby, Bobby, come on. Bobby, here. Bobby, here. Bobby Lee. Hey. Where are you from? I was born in Ballycastle, I grew up in Ballymena, but then I was homeless nine years. I've been all over the country. I slept rough down south and everything. You don't look too bad, mate. Oh, I'm doing alright. Well, I'm doing so so, you know. I'm still an alcoholic. Are you not getting any help with the alcoholism? Well, I'm trying, I've got an alcoholic counsellor, but she's finished. They're sacking her. Everything's all been cut. Aye, yeah. the government are cutting. They're sacking her because, and she's doing a good job dealing with alcoholics. What's all them alcoholics going to do without her? Because they depend on her. There was a time when I was dependent on likes of diazepam and different things like that. So I can understand where the alcohol is just another drug. Alcoholism's a, a disease. Aye, that's it's, aye. Which happens to Thank some you for people. saying that. Thank you. Aye, but it is. I mean, I do know it. I'm not ready yet to have it. I tried there. It was off it for a while. I think they're trying to escape. Oh. That's what it is. You don't want to face reality. No. As long as you don't do anybody else any harm. But I'm not sad or anything. Because I'm doing well for myself now. I've got, I've got my wee flat all tidied up and all that. My dog's the best looking one on the beach. Here, look at that boy there, he's out jogging. He must be mad. No, he's not touching you, alright. Look at my dog, he's not even on drinking his happy. I want to know what, what's going on with him. I'm going to start eating dog food instead of ordinary food. Oh no, don't do that, no. Jesus. But I'm not going to die, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I think. Next time on The Estate. It's not the first time I've lost somebody I've been working with, but it's the first time in this job I have lost someone. I was a daughter and I and my sister thought right the bad day and flashed yeah. through my head. Could it be him? Say if I took somebody to their dinner and they said it was wrong, I'd just be like, fuck an idiot, you bastard. <laughs> I'm not that big word there, say. Well, the members of the Bob Band Corden invite you to... Well, Corden, then. These little days are our memories when they're growing up. <laughs> And the estate continues next Monday at 10.35 here on BBC One Northern Ireland.